Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, grocery hauls, recipes, and what's for dinner. And I am kicking off another week of what's for dinner with Mississippi pork roast. Now I know Mississippi pot roast is super popular and normally I would make just a pot roast, but I did not have any chuck roast in my freezer. And as you guys know, I am um, working on trying to use what I already have in my pantry and freezer, and in my freezer, I had a pork roast that I found on sale. It was a really good deal. And so I made some pork roast today. I cooked it in the crock pot. So let me show you what's in the crock pot. There it is. And this is probably one of the easiest, tastiest recipes that I make. I have made this with chicken. Of course, I've made it with a chuck roast, and I've also made it with pork before. And it just adds, um, this, I mean, just, using all the different flavors for the Mississippi pot roast. It just adds a really, really good flavor. So all you need for Mississippi pork roast is a package of dry brown gravy and a package of ranch. And then the original recipe just calls for about five of these um, pepperoncinis, pepperoncinis, I never say that right. But Howard and I really like the flavor, so I always use the entire jar. I do um, pour out most of the liquid, but I use every single pepper. And if you're afraid of heat, the, that you know the peppers really don't add a lot of heat to this. So we are having the pork roast, and then we're also having some mashed potatoes, and I stir fried up some fresh, well not fresh, I guess frozen green beans. But the mashed potatoes that we like around here are these from Orida. I have used these before in our What's For Dinner and we really like these. The ingredients are very simple. It's just, um, let me see if I can find it for you guys right here. There it is, potatoes, heavy cream, butter, salt, and that's it. It's so good, so we're having that. And then I have a peach cobbler in the oven and when that comes out, I'll show you guys what it looks like. But this is my plate and this is Howard's plate. So this is what we're having for dinner and I'll show you our dessert as soon as it comes out of the oven. Hey guys, so the peach cobbler is hot out of the oven. I've let it sit here probably for about 15, 20 minutes and unfortunately I did leave it in the oven a little bit too long. It's still gonna be delicious though. So anyway, this is what's for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. I am continuing to eat stuff out of my freezer and pantry. This was in my freezer from a Trader Joe's haul. Um, this is a French style flatbread with ham, caramelized onions, and Gruyere cheese. Here it is, a little tart. And here it is, all baked up. And I haven't had this in a long time. I used to buy it all the time and eat it, but I haven't had it in a while. So um, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. Again, this is something that we had in our freezer, and so we are having big salads. I had some lettuce in my fridge, and let me show you what was in my freezer. I had this Oscar Mayer carving board, um, hickory smoked seasoned grilled breast strips, which are right here. I just chopped them up a little bit more. So this was in my freezer and I wanted to use that. So we're using that. And then um, on my salad, I have the chicken. I have the Tillamook cheese. Um, this was half a bag that was left in my freezer. Wanted to use that. And then um, I have some um, French fried onions on top of mine. And Howard does not have the onions on top of his. Um, this is a salad dressing that he's going to be using. And you know, I like Asian salad dressings. This is the one that I'm going to be using. The tag already came off, I don't remember. This was in my fridge, but um, I don't remember the brand of this salad dressing. And then Howard has been craving this shumai from Trader Joe's, so we are having the shumai as well. Now the um, directions are pan fry or microwave. And you guys know I am a pan fry girl, but Howard wanted to try. The directions are actually steam 
or microwave. Okay, steam or microwave. I always pan fry mine, and so Howard decided to try these in the microwave, so we will see how these taste. So, and there's, that's just water um, on, the, on the bottom of the plate, that's all that is. They had you add a little, actually they had you rinse the uh, pork dumplings in water, cover them with saran wrap, and then steam them, so that's water that you see at the bottom. So. Anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I felt like eating something light for dinner tonight, and I've been craving um, hot and sour soup, so I made this, and I've showed this before on our What's For Dinner videos. Um, we really like this soup, and it really does taste restaurant style, surprisingly. It is by Kikoman, and it just calls for water and then the um, the soup mix and then you just stir in an egg at the end so we're having that and then I had some leftover spring rolls from lunch from the other day I went and had Thai food and these are just two leftover vegetable spring rolls so this is what's for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time Hey guys, we are at Ikea. This is our first time eating in the food court. Wanted to show you guys what we got. We got the same thing. We got a Swedish meatball plate that comes with the Swedish meatballs, mashed potatoes, mixed veggies. Howard got the ligamberry, I think it's ligamberry jam or something. And then um, we got garlic bread on the side and it comes with either a soup or a salad. Uh, and this is like a pea soup which you guys know I don't like peas, but this is what Howard got. This is my plate. I got the same exact thing, except I didn't get the jam. I got salad instead of soup, and we are gonna split this berry cheesecake, and then the um, Swedish meatball meal, it came with the um, fountain drink, so they had sparkling beverages, so I got raspberry, and then Howard got a mix of, I think he got lemon, Lemon and ligamberry? Yeah, lemon and ligamberry. So that's it. This is what the food court looks like. If you've never been to an IKEA food court. But anyway, this is what we are having.